protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Uh, Boxing King Media in association with SaveMoreMoney.com. Johnny, just your immediate reaction. Chris Billum Smith beating Masanekis corner, pulled him out. The, 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 the look of the Irish was on him because he wasn't winning the fight. Uh, he was chasing the fight. Uh, what he has got is dogged determination, perseverance, and 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 he, he had that, that self-belief that I've got to break this guy down. Masanek was tricky enough, crafty enough frisky enough to, to start running away with the fire. And he was starting to chop him, uh, the, the, the shot in the ribs. It was a legitimate shot. And listen, people can talk about Masternick retiring on his stool. You need to try and fight with a broken rib. You know, I can remember defending against Rudy May, my world title, with a broken rib. Yeah, man. And, and, uh, and, uh, and you get touched on it, the ting hurts. So, so if it happened mid-fight, it changes everything in a heartbeat. And that's why I'm to Masternick. What do you want to see William Smith do next? React was like, the mandatory is going to call him within the next week. Or Coley, we're not sure if he's going to stay at Cruiserweight or go to heavyweight. Um, who would you like William Smith to fight next? Well, it, it's, a, it's been a frustrating time for both uh, William Smith, both Richard React Paul. I'd like those two to fight each other. Um, I think it sorts out our business at home. Um, uh, Lawrence Coley, um, I personally think he should step up to Super Cruiser. Uh, and, and, and get himself in a position. It's a new weight division where he can he can be be the man. You know he can he can get there. He didn't get beat against Chris Bill and Smith. He 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 beat himself. He lost. That was the difference. Um, and so now it's a case of it's quite clear they want to shut him out. They want to shut him out because he's not he's not the most TV friendly fighter. I understand it. That's just that's plain talk. But but Lawrence needs to try and. Either reinvent himself and get himself in a position where he's in a, a, a position where you've got to fight him because right now he's in the who needs him club and so they'll try everything possible to get out of putting him back in the picture again um, so so I do hope uh, Chris and, and and Richard get back in get back uh, get it back on again uh, in the next fight Kel Brook was in attendance today um, I know you have spoken to you about him in the past about his retirement coming back he said he doesn't want to come back he's done more rumors are surfacing that he might come back your thoughts? I think if you throw enough money in front of most men, they'd, 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 it changed their mind. I hope Kel, um, they'll put it this way, you want to come back, all of a sudden you've been out. <coughs> when the fight's gone out of you, what happens is, you're in training camp, you're training hard. Then when hard, and, and before when you could train through the hard times, the injuries and everything, you thought you'd, you'd dig in. And the idea in his head to come back and fight might be there until you're in the hard bit of the training camp, the depths, the deep darkness of training camp, you think, I don't want this enough. And I think Kel will probably realise that himself. So it's great to romance the idea and he'll keep romancing the idea for another 10 years. But in reality, I don't want to see him fight again. Um, I think you've gone out on the top. You know, you're a good kid, man. You've got a family. You, 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 you've got some peace in your heart. Stay out. Um, Johnny, I'm not going to speak to you. Obviously, uh, the year's ending very soon now. So. We've got big, one big show left, um, Saudi Arabia. Um, looking forward to that in yeah, two weeks' time. I'm definitely looking forward to it. What a way to end the year. Um, I think uh, to get all these guys in one room, in one ring, and get them all on, um, if you're a boxing fan, it's win-win. You know what I mean? It's win-win on the 23rd of December. Good luck to Anthony Joshua. Good luck to Deontay Wilder. Good luck to Danny Dubois. And good luck to, 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 to Elise Zorro. You know, good luck to, 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 to all of them out there that are fighting. But what an opportunity if you fight her, you've got a chance to win some dough, uh, do well, uh, and put yourself in history. Out of those three fights, Dubois, Miller, uh, Wallen, Joshua, Wilder, Parker, which one are you looking forward to the most? Um, of course, I'm looking forward to Anthony Joshua. I think he gets rid of uh, uh, his opponent. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, obviously, Wilder to see if he's still the man. Because he, in that press conference, draws in my estimation massively of how he handled himself. Uh, and I'm curious to see how Dubois and Miller goes on. Uh, I think Miller, he's not actually proved himself, you know. So, so now, you know, this is a good little test for him.
Johnny, we appreciate every moment of your time um, that you've given us in 2024. Always 2023, always very gen generous. Wish you uh, happy holidays and uh, hope to see you fly and fresh in, in 2024. Inshallah. You got me, brother. Bye. Have you ever been stranded on the side of a motorway with a broken down car? Like me, is that something that worries you? That's where Motor Breakdown Insurance comes in. If your vehicle breaks down, a trained professional will be sent out to get you back on the road. Or if this is not possible within the specified time frame to transport you to your home or to the nearest garage. 